in a normal economy with normal services, if your customer wants more of what you're providing and you're profitable, you can sell them more and become more profitable. In the telco model, unfortunately, the customer wants more bandwidth to view more content, talk with more people, you know, do more home automation, whatever. Um, and the provider, the phone company looks at this and says, well, I've already got your data and I'm already selling your data. And now you want more bandwidth from me, but I'm not gonna make more money by selling your data just because you used more bandwidth. This is creating greater costs for me but not increasing my revenues. So if we had a rational market in which providers were responsible to customers more than to investors, or at least to, to both, um, the providers would be happy to sell more of what they have to sell. But as it is, they're relying upon the customers to produce data, which they sell, rather than relying upon the customers to pay for bandwidth, which they sell. And this is not the model that they are purporting to be in. So there is this dissonance, this friction between the economic model that they're actually operating under versus the one that they tell customers and regulators that they're operating under. And that dissonance comes out in the form of, gosh, we can't afford to sell more of what we sell to customers, even though we're profitable, because somehow we would be less profitable if we sold more. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, that that exposes the, the fiction of what they're doing. But I think there are too few people who look at the economic underpinnings of the internet and, and see what these two models are and, and why they're uh, in conflict.